Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuro, and we're playing some more Pokemon Sc Violet on the Nintendo Switch. I almost said Scarlet. This is a Nuzlocke episode, so we're going to be playing as Uni. As we journey across the Paldea region, we just defeated the giant crab. So we just defeated the, uh, we just completed the rock path of legends. So now we're going to be heading to Artisan Gym, which is going to be the grass type gym. We can grab some items along the way. Um, realize that if I don't grab items and use items, I am most likely going to die. So, we're just going to be quite tactical about this. Um, we're going to avoid wild encounters. Oh, whoopies up front. That's... Wow, okay. Just let me run away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so since we lost um, Salty in the previous episode, we're not allowed to capture any more Pokemon from this area. I would love to capture an, a Pokemon, but we're just going to have to keep things fair. Uh, so, in terms of Nuzlocke rules, we're not allowed to use the starter Pokemons. So we're not allowed to use any Pokemon that Aki used, so my character from Pokemon Scarlet. So we're not allowed to use anything that Yuni's brother used. So the Paldean starters are out of the question. So is the Killer Water Rule line, as well as the Tinkerton. Um, because Charcadet can evolve into both Cerulege and Armor Rouge, Charcadet's the only exception. Because we're going to evolve it into Cerulege. Uh, Right, we're going to switch to Kiriko. Because I just realized Whoopi is kind of useless here. kind of want to capture a crab. Crab will pull me. We're going to use Astonish. Mean look. Now we cannot escape. Okay. Let's use Astonish. Ooh! Gasly's down. That's nice. Murkrow. Uh, we'll keep our current Pokemon. Mm, let's hit it with Fire Spin. Okay. Now we're caught in a fiery vortex. Cut by fire spin. Ember. Okay, that kind of hurt. Uh, and at this point, we'll swap to Whoopi. Okay, another shocker. Uh, let's use Poison Tail. Haze, okay. I'm pretty certain Haze doesn't do anything apart from eliminate stat change. It's raining. And we won. This trainer has a relatively old looking face. Right, we're going to replace Tackle with Slam. I don't know, now that I think about it, what kind of moves do we do we um, learn or pick up? Yeah. Anyways, the level cap for our current place in the story is um, 17. So we can't go over 17. Anything that hits level 18, we have to bench. Uh, let's grab this item over here. EXP candy. Mm, back up here. Oh. Potion. That's always handy. Okay, we grab that. Hyper potion. Poker doll. 
I see a gimme coin. Guard spec. That is also a giant crab. And a little girl. So we're gonna battle a little girl. Squawk Billy. Whoopee. Uh, poison Tail. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Eh, not as much as I hoped. No, I'm kind of hoping to have a fourth Pokemon, but I'm not allowed to capture anything else from this area because it's salty. There's a Dunsports and some Squawk Billies. Again, not allowed to catch them. Okay, you can't climb rocks yet, but we'll grab this item here. No, oh, there's an item down there. Let's grab this one. Revive. Uh, let's grab this as well. Great ball. Burn hill. You know, I did say that we weren't going to overkill this, but we're kind of overkilling it with the item pickup. Um... How is my Pokemon doing? Yeah, we're going to use the one-time use Pokemon Center. Right. Here we go. Okay. Let's head into town. Right, we're in Artisan. I'm 100% certain that there's no clothing store here yet. Yeah, only picnic items? Or maybe bakeries and stuff. Anyways, I'm pretty certain, if I remember correctly, a little bit out from here would be a new area. Oh, we've got a Pokeball. Uh, I wonder what's the level range on some of the Pokemon here. Because we're in East Province 1. Okay, we're not allowed to capture that. Um, first Pal Day in Pokemon that we see. Oh, Lechonk. Uh, oh, no. What level are you? Level 17. We can technically capture you. Okay. We're going to capture it. Uh, Pokeball. And hopefully it captured. Nope. It used Dig. Which I'm pretty certain means we can't capture it. Uh, can we just battle it? Mud shot. Ouch. This speed has gone down. We'll Pokeball it again. Oh, it's a critical catch. Okay. Um, we didn't level up, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to give it a nickname. I'm going to call it whole hog after after the ultimate of road hog right so that's not too bad now we just have to um, visit the 
Pokemon gym place. Okay. So we caught our fourth. Hopefully we don't lose it. Just teetering on the edge of the level cap. I have pneumonia's here. Are we actually going to have to battle Nimona? I think we battle her a little bit later on. Because normally we would have more battles with our rivals, but... I think we don't really have that many battles with Nimona. Alright, let's battle this. No, not battle this. Let's speak to the receptionist. We will get ourselves ready for the gym test. Some flora hide and seek. I I remember there was one by the sort of maze, and then a few in the town center, and then a few littered round about the entire town. Um, some by the toy area, like the play area. Well, there's this random spawn. That's sort of what I remember from Scarlet. So let's see how this goes. Uh, let's head out. Oh, it's already midday. All right, let's speak to the lady. All right, so there's some sunflowers all over the town. All right. So if we get near one, it should call out. All right. I hear one. There should be one nearby. Oh, there's one here. Mm. Alright, it'll follow me. So there's a toy area. There should be some around here. Ah. I see a glowing item. But I don't think I can actually get up there. I see a sun floor. Actually, no, wait. Can we actually climb on the ladders? Oh, we can! That's good. Because um, I saw a glowing item. Oh, this is cool. I didn't know we could do this. Hmm. Now then, how do I get over there? Oh, yes. We actually climb on the rock wall? No. Skill swap. Okay. Um. Come on, ride on. There must be some room for you. Okay. No. Uh. Now that's room for you. Is it already night time? Oh. I thought a bunch of sunflowers that randomly spawned. Oh, they're, they're all falling asleep. Ah, oh, that's kind of, that's actually a kind of a cool detail. Uh. One here. Oh, there's one over here. Uh. What just happened? Oh, we're battling it. Uh. Poison tail? Nice. In grey. Uh, okay, that's not too much health. What up? Eh. It's already ingrained. Should we try and hit it with slam? Now nah, let's hit it with mud slap. 
Machot. Oh. The sorb. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we're just going to poison tail. I think this kind of sets up the tone for what I should and shouldn't do. Right, we're going to use poison tail. Ah, okay, so you hit level 17. Now we just need to find one more. Ah, there's a sunflower over here. And I see an item. Okay, it's struggling. Come on. I made a mistake. Ah, there we go. I was beginning to panic. Thinking that we was going to be stuck there. Alright, we've got the item. Is there anything inside the maze? Uh, I feel like we're really stretching it a little bit. Oh, there's an item here. Okay. I'm stuck. Well, okay. And we pass. All good. So we passed the test with flying colors. Now let's report back to the um, gym. Actually, before we do that, because we did pick up like a, a quick claw. Um, we'll give this to Kiriko. Uh, not sure if this will do anything, so we'll give it to you, Chonk. None of you can use that. Uh, we got free EXP candy access. Who needs it more? I mean, it's probably going to use like Mega Drain, Sorb, and all that, so maybe. Whoopee. So I think I have a strategy. We're going to lay down like Toxic Spike. That way, any Pokemon that switches in will be poisoned. Then so we'll switch out and go for... Maybe... Um, Kiriko. Right. Ah, uh, yes. This gym leader was on the windmill. For no apparent reason. Also, I find his design and his style to be a little bit weird. I actually prefer Milo a little bit more. He looks more like a poison type gym leader. Maybe he'll be a grass and poison gym. Also, he's pulling the wrong end of the whip. That's not really how you use a whip. Here we go. Patilly. Okay, Patilly. Hmm. See how this goes. We'll start off with Toxic Spike. Mega Drain. Surprising. Yeah. Fields filled with Toxic Spike. Okay, Poison Tail. Sleep powder, that's not good. Maybe we'll wake up. Uh, poison tail. Okay, this would be the time to switch. Nice. Okay, we're gonna swap. Uh, Here we go. This is the first time I saw Whole Hogs um, attackless. So not too bad. Mega Drain. Mm -hmm. 
will power him up. Well, power her up. So, Kiriko, Wrestleize, and Ember. And transform. Ember. Okay, super effective. That's good. Smoliv. Just going to keep Kiriko out. So this will poison. So this is pretty much like Mega Evolution. The Pokemon just remained in its transformed state. Okay, that's painful. Poisoned. And Ember again. Okay. Pseudo Wudo. Uh, it has a type of advantage, so I think we're going to use Whole Hog and use Dig and tank out some of its um, move because it's going to know some rock type moves. I'm pretty certain it will know rock type moves, which will be super effective. Right. You're poisoned. Uh, we're going to use... Mudshot. This may slow it down. Truly Woody. Truly Wood... Truly Woodo. I'm guessing making it a grass type will make it a real tree. I mean, it does add flowers on top of its head. So I guess it does make it an actual tree or plant. I mean, it is a rock type. Everybody thought it was a grass type, but no. Okay, not very effective. About that low at speed. Okay. Trailblaze. That does. Yeah, that did a lot more damage. Uh, we'll try dig. Maybe we'll outpace it. Yeah, we did. Rock throw? Okay. We avoided the move. You take another poison. That's good. Control blaze. Okay, speed has gone up. Ah! We just lost Hold Hog. That's not good. Um, I don't want to throw in Kiriko and take a Troll Blaze. Because that will hurt. Smoliv doesn't have any move either. Yeah. Sorb isn't going to do much. Razor Leaf? Oh, okay, you avoid the, at the attack. Okay, that's not going to do much. We'll use a potion on Kiriko. Rock Throw. Okay. Maybe we can tank out some of its damage with recovery items. Bit cheesy. But we have a limited supply. So <laughs> I'm not going to complain. So if, if you have any complaints, please let me know in the comment section below. It's a little bit cheese, but 
We're only using items that we pick up. We're not buying any. Okay. Toxic spike. Thank you. Ah, okay. So the only casualty was whole hog. I do feel a little bit bad that I kind of cheesed it with the healing items. I guess I'm a fawn in the side. <laughs> oh, me and my bad jokes. Okay, so Pokemon up to level 30 will obey us. Uh, the level cap is actually making things a little bit difficult. But we got Trailblaze, which is good. It's a nice CM. CMTM. Now then, there is one of the Elite Falls. I think he's also a professor or something. Hessel, okay. Teaches at the academy. Hmm. For fun, I guess. There's no single correct answer. Okay. The youngest person to become a champion. A champion, not the champion. Technically, she should be the champion, but... Uh, unfortunately, Gita's hogging the spot. A lot of people don't like Gita as well. Um, anyways, see the box. The whole hog. The chonk has been buried. Right, let's head outside. Okay, so I guess this is it. I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed the content so far. Remember to like, subscribe, drop in the comments in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment in the comments below and let me know what you think. It really does help me out. If you haven't already done so, you can also hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. That way you'll get updates for when I upload my new videos or follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Kuroaki Games where I occasionally stream my raw gameplay videos on there or some content that isn't on youtube you can also follow me on instagram at kuroaki games and i will see you guys soon